But how do you know if someone's having a stroke? Well, we have definitely illustrated that time is critical, so we use the acronym FAST. F stands for face, and so you'd want to ask them to smile and see if one side is drooping. A is for arms, can they raise both arms up or is one drifting down? S is for speech, ask them to repeat a simple phrase, is their speech slurred or is it strange? And T is for time, if you see any of these, call 911 immediately. Other symptoms might include sudden confusion, dizziness, or even severe headache. And again, the faster one acts, the better the chance to save as much brain tissue as possible. So how is an ischemic stroke treated, at least during the acute phase? Well, it's probably not going to surprise you that the goal is to restore blood flow as soon as possible. One treatment is a clot-busting drug called tissue plasminogen activator, which can dissolve the clot if given within three to four and a half hours of symptom onset. But timing is obviously tight, and not everyone is eligible for this type of treatment. And it can also increase bleeding risk. So this is definitely not something that is going to be given with a hemorrhagic stroke. Another option is a mechanical thrombectomy, where a surgeon threads a catheter through an artery, often from the groin, to physically remove the clot. And in some cases, this can work up to 24 hours after symptoms start. And it's pretty incredible that we have this kind of technology to complete a procedure like this, like literally threading through something through the arteries to bust up a clot. It's pretty remarkable. 